Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy and I've got another driver head-to-head -head comparison for you here and it's Mizuno and it's the ST190 which is a new launch for 2019 and it's going against its replacement um, or the one it's replacing should I say which is the ST180. So the blue head against the black head we've seen some very good uh, performance with the ST190 early in its release so it'll be interesting to see how that pitches up and if it's an improvement against the ST180. That's exactly what we're going to do in this video. GC2 HM obviously data will show you as always and plus my personal feedback between the two drivers. So just before we jump into the video, if you haven't subscribed and enjoyed the content I'm putting out there, then please consider doing so. Hit that MNG logo in the bottom right hand corner screen, hit the bell icon to get notifications, notifications any future videos that land on my channel, you'll be the very first ones to watch it. Also hook up on my social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter, and the handles there are at MN Golf Coach. Okay, so we're going to start off with the ST180, which was the 2018 model. Obviously, that blue, striking blue head, which you either liked or you didn't like. I don't mind that, to be honest, but I much prefer the black finish that we see in the new uh, 190 version. But uh, when I did the review of this, I was quite impressed. Um, the spin number was pretty low, and it was a pretty decent form of driver. So we know Mizuno, maybe not the... the the sort of at the top of the game in terms of the driver uh, development. You know, obviously we see uh, irons are, are superb from a zoom number drivers and never, never really sort of made it to that top grade in terms of against maybe the bigger uh, driver manufacturers out there. But I think that is changing. Uh, from Mizuno with the rate, latest couple of releases and I think this was the start of it and I think obviously 190 from what we've seen in early days is also uh, pretty good so it'll be interesting to see the comparison here so as I say got these both in the same shaft both at the same loft so pretty much the same setup here or it is identically the same the two drivers here have got the weights at the back okay and then um, obviously both got that wave technology in the sole of the club let's get this first one hit with the 180 Okay, and that's a very penetrating foul, uh, flight. That's a very loud crack. Came out pretty low there, but that's run out uh, just so 303. 163 ball speed, and that's spun at 2 2. Yeah, it's a very fiery flight there. It's very loud. I don't know what that sounds coming over on the camera, but it's a very loud crack. But that's, again, that's decent. T shirt there, 309. 166 ball speed there, came out a little bit hotter, just launching quite low there for me, but it's still getting out there and it's got quite a sort of control spin, so a bit more of a flatter uh, flight. And obviously we can change loft around, but I want to keep these lofts exactly the same, uh, which is in that nine and a half area for the two drivers. a little bit low in the club face but again the flight flight was pretty pretty strong there just dropping off a little bit of distance there just through that little bit of strike just fractionally low sort of low heel section that's put it two six just under two seven so not too bad for a slightly low heel strike we know that spin tends to pop up a little bit more from that particular area of the club face okay let's switch the shaft into the st190 head and we'll hit a batch of shots for that Right, okay, so we've now got the ST190, obviously new driver for 2019, uh, and obviously the big change is the colour, so we're into this nice, beautiful, what I think is a beautiful gloss black uh, head, which I think will tick a lot of boxes, and I think will bring a lot of golfers back to possibly try in the Mizuno uh, driver. I think the blue, yes, it is Mizuno colours, but... You know, if you don't like blue, you ain't going to be trying that driver, are you? So, um, I think the black's a really good move. Black face, black head, a little bit of white lipstick around the top, which is nice. A little bit of that carbon effect. Uh, still got wave technology, just improved that. Just a sl slight deeper recess in that bottom section than the ST180. Still got that thick screw at the back of the section, uh, back of the sole here, and obviously we've got a movable neck sleeve, as always. Um, okay, let's get this first one hit with the ST190. Okay, it looks great behind the ball. Yeah, it's a good hit straight away. The big difference there is the sound. Very different acoustics there against the 180. Much more quieter. That was quite loud, that 
180 there is a very sort of tinny hollow i mean obviously i'm in the studio here i've got outdoors here but i'm in the studio so it does echo a little bit it tends to exaggerate that sound but that was really loud this was a much more muted bit more of that carbon uh, sort of sound um, to that which i very much prefer so we saw some good distances there with the 180 but that opening one with the 190 at 314 is maybe going to give that 180 a bit of a run for its money so let's see how the rest of these go Okay, that's another good solid hit. As I say, that sound is much, much improved for me personally, much more of a muted uh, sound. Obviously, the looks for me, the black is so much better as well. So many of you commented on my some of my head-to-heads with the Mizuno and the ST190 and also the ST190 G driver where they're a little bit concerned about the spin numbers being a bit too low. Now we've got to remember my clubhead speed is around the 115, 116 mile an hour mark which is pretty quick isn't it? So many of you guys might not be anywhere near that, you might be in that hundreds, uh, 80s, something like that. Like that. So yes your argument to what you're sort of saying in the comments is that spins too low for the the normal club head speed of a golfer but then that's you've got to remember i'm using a, a you know a low spin shaft low launch shaft low loft weights in the in the g head more forward uh, which is obviously going to create a lower spin which i need but i've got the speed to cope with that so if i get that maybe that one that drops off on a slight high strike and might get a 1600 1700 spin yeah i'll lose a little bit of length in terms of carry but i know i'm going to get some run out and it's still a strong fight because i've got the speed to cope with it so the guys who haven't got the speed then obviously through a custom fit you're going to go in a higher lofted head option uh, maybe those weights back in the g model obviously maybe a different shaft softer shaft you've then got the next sleeve where you can add more loft and, and obviously change it around so it's all about getting custom fitted so don't take it from my reviews here and go and buy that and thinking or, or go and try or, or maybe even take it off your radar to try because the spin number is quite low obviously through a fitting you can get that spin number dialed into what you sort of want obviously it's get the right launch as well suiting into your speed in that right window okay let's get a few more hits with the 190. Oh, it's a little bit low in the face. Again, that's it's come out a touch lower because of that, but it's flighted pretty nice. It just pulled that left hand side a little bit. Gonna lose a little bit of length, but not a lot there. 304. Just up the left side, just cut that little bit low heel side there. Again, 2300. It's not bad for that low heel. We saw that with the 180 there, that slight similar strike, that slight low heel. Just pushed out that right hand side, decent strike there. Just pushed a little bit, just killed my dispersion. But again, it's another long ball for a right miss 313. That's a good long hit 168 ball speed, right? Okay, let's have a look at those numbers between the 180 against the 190. Okay, so 180 against 190. So a look at club head speed there. So just under one mile an hour quicker with the 190, not a lot in it to be honest. Um, didn't feel that to be fair between those two uh, drivers, uh, but just get a little bit more speed there. So that's obviously just creating a little bit more ball speed with the 167 against 164. So a little bit hot off that club face. Obviously, some is to do with that club head speed gain there, as you've got to imagine. Launching very similar around that nine and a half mark. I obviously, like to get that average up a little bit more for me, but that tends to be my sort of number there. Um, spin exactly the same at 2400 on average, peaking at pretty much the same, descending on the same 34 degree angle which is pretty good when it comes into getting your maximum run out. Uh, ST180 at 278 carry against the 283 and obviously that little bit of pick up on speed, possibly club head and a little bit of ball speed is just giving me those few extra yards there and a total of 304 against 310. So just look at the dispersion rings between all those shots of hit, five shots. So you see the white one was the ST180, which is quite a nice tight pattern. That last shot there with the 190s just killed my dispersion there because I just missed that up that right hand side more. Obviously that's a bit more me than the club itself really. But obviously five shots with each, you know, the 180, a little bit of a tighter dispersion, but obviously some slightly longer shots with the 190. Okay guys, there we go. There's the 180 against the ST190. So two very, very similar performing drivers. 190 just sneaking a little bit there, maybe that little bit of extra speed. Spin number's very much the same. Um, I think the biggest differences between those two for me is the looks and the sound and the feel. They're the big real differences there. Obviously the 180, that blue, uh, very tinny, loud acoustic sort of sounds. It sort of reminds me of a very 
Mizuno aren't going to like me saying this, but a very sort of cheap budget club. The sound of it just feels very tinny, very loud on its sound. Now, if, if you like that, that's that's entirely up to you. Isn't it? But for me, it's just a bit too a bit too overpowering in a way. The 190, that muted sound, probably through that carbon mix a little bit more there, is, is so much more appealing. And again, sound we relate to a little bit with feel, don't we? So that sound and that feel um, just makes it a little bit more appealing to me. The black is a big box tick for me it's such a better looking golf club uh, blue I didn't mind but I think we'll see a lot more golfers try the 190 because of the colour change there so post your comments down below I'd love to hear your thoughts as always between the 180 and the 190 um, have you got 180 would you try 190 I'd love to hear your thoughts as always so fire some comments down below if you like the video hit the like button share the video around if you know any other Mizuno fans out there that you would um, think would be a benefit from this video share the video around obviously hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.